Hey everyone and welcome back to Hello Dev World. Today is day three of the 365 Days of Coding Challenge. If you don't know what that is, every day of 2021, I'm gonna be posting a coding challenge on my blog in the morning. And in the afternoon, I'm gonna be posting a solution along with a video for that challenge. If you would like to be part of the email list to get that challenge in the morning, I'm gonna put a link in the description down below so that you can sign up. Today, we're jumping into cryptography a little bit. If you've done any research into cybersecurity or cryptography, you've probably heard of a Caesar cipher. If you haven't, all it is is a shift cipher. So you have your normal alphabet and you're gonna shift a set number of letters over to get the letter that you want. So today, we're gonna to be creating a function that accepts a message and returns a ROT13 Caesar cipher. This means every letter of that message is going to be transformed into 13 letters down the alphabet from the letter that it's currently on. I have some examples that I will post in the description down below, and I will post the link to the blog that has all of it actually written out so that you can check that out. So let's head over to the computer and get started. All right, now that we're back at the computer, let's start writing some comments about what we know we need to do. So we know that we're gonna need to create a function that accepts a message. And for the first solution, we're gonna create a variable that holds a string of the alphabet as we know it, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, et cetera, et cetera. Then we're gonna create another variable that has the ciphered version of that alphabet. So instead of A, it's gonna be N and so on and so forth. And then we're gonna do a replace based off of indexes. So basically, we're going to find the index of the letter that we're on in the original alphabet and then grab that index of the ciphered version and so that we know what letter to use. So we're going to create our function and that's going to accept a message. We're going to make our alphabet a uh, constant because we're not going to be changing it. And I'm going to paste in the alphabet here just to save some time. I added both uppercase and lowercase so that we can take that in consideration when we are transforming into that cipher because if it's capitalized it should stay capitalized. Now I'm going to make a cipher string that's going to be this same alphabet but 13 letters over and I'm also going to paste that. I'll put that down in the description down below just in case you need it. And now what we need to do is return the message that was sent and we're going to do a dot replace I've done this in a couple of videos before, but if you need a reference to what replace does and how to use it, I'll put that in the description down below as well. And I'm gonna use some regex here. I will also have that in the description in case you don't know what it is and you don't know how to use it, you can reference that as well. And we wanna get the index of the cipher string that is the same index as the actual alphabet. So we're going to look for the, the alphabet and get the index of the letter that we're on in that alphabet. And then that index is going to map directly to the index of the cipher, which we are trying to pull out. And then that's it. This should pass all of our tests. Let me grab those tests. I'm going to put them in here. Now, if we run this, oh, I did not make this into a function. And now if we run this again, and it's index of, not just index. And there we go. So this is solution one. Let's comment this out and so that we can look at solution two, which is very similar to solution one. So the difference between solution one and solution two is we're going to create a function again. While I'm typing this out, go ahead and smash that like button and hit subscribe so you don't miss any of the challenges for the rest of the year and hit that bell notification so you know when those solutions come out. And we're going to put the alphabet in a variable again. So I'm just going to copy what we had before put it down here. Instead of having a cipher variable that holds what that cipher is going to be and indexing on that, I'm actually just going to do the math within the replace itself. So instead of indexing on another variable, I'm going to index only on the alphabet and then just go 13 steps over. So we're going to return message.replace again. And again, we're going to do some regex. This is just to make sure that we're only replacing on alphabetical letters, not on punctuation or spaces. And then the letter that we're on is going to be alphabet index. And then we want to get the index of the letter that we're on on the alphabet. And then we want to add 13 to that because with rot 13, we go 13 over. So plus 13. Now, if we run this, oop, 
run this and there you go so that was solution two now we're gonna go to solution three and solution three i don't personally love i think it's kind of hard to read only because it uses functions that are built into javascript that people don't use very often so it can be hard for other devs to come in and understand what it's doing without having to do some research into the functions themselves however it is a clever solution it's just as performant as everything else so i'm going to share it with you just because it's a cool solution so we're going to make a function again that accepts a message again and we are going to return message dot replace again and it's going to be the same regex this time we are going to do string dot from char code and what this does is it returns a string that's based off of a utf 16 code so this from char code it's going to get a number between 0 and 65535 and it's going to return a string from there we need to actually get the code for the letters that we want so we're going to get the char code so char code at takes an index and it's always going to be zero because we only have one letter so we only have one one index and the index is zero index so it's always going to be zero and then we are going to do two lowercase so we know we are getting the correct code because every single letter is its own utf16 code so we want to make sure we get the right ones for the letters and then we're going to do if it's less than or equal to m which is the middle of our cipher so if you hit m we're going back to a at that point in the alphabet for the rest of the cipher m is the 13th letter in the alphabet that's why m is the current letter here so we're going to do plus 13 if it's less than the letter M because we're going forward in the alphabet and we're gonna do minus 13 if it's past the letter M because we're gonna go back to the beginning of the alphabet. All right, we're gonna clear out this console just to make it a little easier to read and we're gonna run this and there you go. All right, so those are the solutions for the challenge today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to leave your solution down in the description below. I would love to see them and other people would love to learn from them as well. Be sure to Click subscribe and hit that bell notification so you know when the solution for tomorrow comes out. And I will see you tomorrow.